In this video, I'm going to show you a script called Super Magic Eraser, and it does something really cool in Adobe Illustrator. It lets you cut your art, crop your art right to the artboard or to a clipping mask, and it does kind of an amazing job of cutting the artwork. So let's take a look. The first thing I want to do is demonstrate on this artwork here so you can see sort of the magic part of this, which is when this script cuts your artwork or crops it to the artboard, it also takes care of all of your gradients. Um, and so if you know anything about cutting art in Illustrator, you know that if you, for example, try to cut this cat into two shapes, what will happen is the gradient will be reapplied. And so this will go from white to this orange value here once it's cut. And then here it will start again at this white value and go to this orange. So it'll, it won't look continuous when you're done. But this script can do that and it does a lot of other cool things. So let's just take a quick look at how it will work on this artwork here. So let's go ahead and I'm going up to the file menu and down to scripts and I'm going to select this script to just run it here and I'm going to need to bring in the little pop up here. So by default, this script is going to crop to the artboard or artboards in your file. It's also going to cut away any other art. So if you have, you know, in progress art hanging out off the artboard, uh, you should be working on another file because it will delete everything else in the file. Um, so let's go ahead and start work on a copy. That's, that's the best way to proceed here and then click start and let's let it do its thing. So we can see it's going through a process here and then it's also, I've got my history panel open. So you can see a little bit of what it's doing there as it works. And it's giving me a warning message. It can't make a compound path, which, you know, I don't know exactly what's going on here, but I'm going to go ahead and click okay and hope for the best. There are compound paths in this art and there's a bunch of stuff going on in this art that makes it a little bit more complex, but it looks like it's working. So I'm going to let it go there. Okay, perfect. It did work. <laughs> all right. So let me make sure that this is, yeah, we need to group this. Let me go ahead first of all and grab everything and then command or control G to group it. And then I'm going to move off to the side and just drag a copy of this out using the option or alt key. And then let's see, do I have my smart guides on? Let me turn those on. Yeah, there we go. So this will help me to uh, snap one next to the other like that. And then I can zoom in and I turned off smart guides and we can see that this cat here is, you know, the gradient is continuous. So that's what it does really beautifully, even though it's in two pieces like that. Now I'm going to zoom out. And now we've seen the magic of what this script can do. Let's take a more step-by-step -step approach with some simpler art. So here I have a file where I have placed a pattern. Again, I'm starting with a fresh file so I don't get rid of any art that I don't want to. And I've placed this rectangle with a pattern fill in here because that then puts it into my swatches panel. And let's go ahead and delete this. And I'm gonna move over to the side here and I'll drag the pattern fill swatch art out to the canvas here. The reason I'm doing this is because this gives me, you know, all the good vector art in here that can be cropped and cut by this script. And then also it's got the bounding shape here, which defines the repeat tile. And so I definitely need that. So what I'm going to do is use that bounding shape to create the artboard that this tile will then be cropped to. So first thing I'm going to do is ungroup and then that way, I can select uh, just that one shape there, that bounding shape that comes from pattern editing mode. And then I'll just apply a color to it. You certainly don't have to do that, but I kind of like this background color. Um, and then what I'll do is go over to the artboard tool here and click on this. And if I single click, I'll create a new artboard from this selected square here. Or if I double click, it will change the artboard one, the existing artboard in this file to this. So I'm just going to double click here and that resizes artboard one to fit. And so it's a perfect fit. I haven't moved anything. And now I'm going to switch to my selection tool just to exit artboard editing mode. And then I'll zoom in a little bit here. Another thing that I wanted to point out is that the artwork here is uh, these hearts have strokes 
Uh, so that's kind of important. So we have a pink fill here and a dark blue stroke that is 4.8 points and it's a uniform stroke. Now there are certain types of art that this plugin does not work with and needs to be expanded first, but a uniform stroke like what I have on these hearts here um, is going to be fine for this. In fact, the script will actually outline the strokes first before it does the cutting. But if you look in the little user manual PDF that comes with this script, you'll see that it does not work on blends, live paint groups, brushes, for example, or symbols, or even text or other complex types of art. For all of that, you're gonna definitely want to go through and expand those things first by going to you know, object, expand appearance. And I do have a separate video if you wanna know more about live versus expanded art, and I'll put a link to that in the description. Now let's go ahead and run the script. So I'm going up to the file menu and down to scripts. And there are also instructions for installing scripts in that PDF that comes with this script. So that will show you how to do it. You're basically going to put it into a special folder inside of your Adobe Illustrator 2025 applications folder. And then once you do that, you'll have it here in the menu that you can choose. And I have a couple of different versions here. Let's go ahead and run this. Oh, I didn't save the file. So let's go ahead and do that. Command or Control S to save it. And then I'm going back up here and down to scripts. I'll select the script again. And here I'm getting a warning that's telling me that I have uh, coordinates of the artboard that are fractional and this can cause some problems. So I've seen where this actually doesn't cause problems, but just for the sake of this video, I'm going to go ahead and just take you through the steps of fixing this in case you need to do that. Um, so we're going to go ahead and say no, and let's go ahead and fix those fractional coordinates. So the first thing to do is I'm going to be moving the artboard. So I need to come over here and turn on artboard editing mode. And then this artboard is selected. Another thing that you got to have set here is this button turned on move copy artwork with artboard because we're going to move the artboard and we don't want to leave behind any of our motifs here because this is a seamless pattern. Then when I go up to the X and Y, we can see this one is 14 and then a decimal number. So that's really the problem there. Let me just nudge this down until I get to 14 inches and then I'll nudge this up until I get to two inches. And I don't know if you saw this, but there is this little corner um, heart down here that was not connected to anything. And so I don't think that it moved with everything else. So you're gonna have to pay attention to what's grouped and if it's touching the artboard, it will move with the artboard if you have you know, this chosen. Uh, but if it's not part of a group, if it's just a single heart hanging out there and it's not touching the artboard, it won't move with the artboard. So let's go ahead and exit artboard editing mode. I'm just gonna tap escape. And here, you know, this little heart that is not grouped and was kind of hanging out here, uh, did not move with the artboard. And so the way that I can kind of tell that is that uh, these one, two, three, four should all be in the same position on the corner. And this one was in here. And we know that that's, you know, that's not identical to these corners. So I'm just gonna delete this. All right, so it looks like I've gotten the artboard properly aligned and taken care of that. So now I should be able to run this just fine. And I think a lot of the time you can run it without fixing those coordinates. I think you just have to, you know, do a little trial and error. Okay. So file scripts, and then let's select this and run it. Oh, did I not save it again? Okay, here we go. I'm saving it and then file scripts and running the script. Okay. So now because I have another screen, I have to bring in this pop-up. I'm leaving all of this unchecked. So I haven't really had success with cropping by a shape. I haven't tried making the clipping mask, but you should try these other options on your work and see if they work for you. But because I wanna to crop to the artboard or artboards in my file, I'm leaving these unchecked. And then I'm gonna click start and it's running. So far so good, there it is. That was so fast. Let's look at this in outline mode. All right, so what we have here are outlined strokes. So that's what the, this script will do with uniform strokes. But of course, if you have brush strokes here, then uh, like an art brush or something like that, you wanna expand those yourself. Just to keep all of this together, I'm gonna go ahead and group it one more time all together like that. 
And then I'm going to back out here and take this art and just tile it out. Of course, I've got to turn on my smart guides, Commander Control U. Uh, and I'm just doing this to kind of do a test to see, you know, is it actually seamless that it did it crop it perfectly and let it snap like that. And it has. This looks really, really good. So if you ever need to crop your artwork for a seamless pattern, this is a great way to do it. And one of the things that I like about it, let me just remove some of these, is that, um, you know, unlike the Pathfinder crop in Illustrator, it doesn't do, you know, punch throughs. So I can actually take this little yellow background art here and just, uh, it's all one piece. It doesn't have holes punched out of it like it would had it been done with the Pathfinder. Um, and then also, like I said before, it does outline those strokes for you. And that's another thing that the Pathfinder doesn't do. And the Pathfinder doesn't always handle strokes very well. So now that you've seen how the Super Magic Eraser script works, let me know in the comments, are you using it? Have you used it? What do you think about it? It's a really cool little script. And you can search for it, but I'll also put a link in the description. I don't make any money on it. It's a very inexpensive uh, script, so I think it's worth a shot. My name is Laura Coyle. I teach Adobe Illustrator here on YouTube and in my online learning community. Find out more at my website, lauracoylecreative.com, and be sure to join my email list. You'll receive a welcome gift and helpful Illustrator tips delivered right to your inbox. And thanks for watching.